guys, today this video is going to show you how to make a cup. For this project, we're going to set our looms a little V here and keep red arrows pointing away from you. First, we're going to make its arm. For the arm, we're going to start with two bands. I use blue first, from first to second on your left and do it two times. And then, we're going to use the skin color, whichever color you can find. And do three times with two bands. And then we're gonna take one single band, twist two times. You will see three rings here. And press the last and last one here. Now we're gonna rotate our loom and start looping. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Bottom two, hook it to the next one. And when we're done here, we can take it off and slowly take off your hook. And this is one arm. So pause your video because we're going to need two arms. And repeat this step, make one more arm, and I'll be right back. Now we're going to make its body. Again, we're going to keep red arrows pointing away from you. It's a little V here. First, we're going to take two black band and make an upside down triangle right here. From the second pins, looks like this. And next, we're going to take two blue, start from first to second on your left, and two blues. First to second on your right, and two yellow. First to second on the center, and now after we press all these bands here, we're gonna bring this black band, the upside down triangle, in here. Bring it in here, all the way here, like this, and leave it right here. We're gonna use its face color. I take two bands. I use neon orange from Rainbow Room and face color for three times. And next, we're gonna make its page. I'm gonna use yellow. Take one single twist three times. You will see four rings here. Two bands of its cross color. And then bring this yellow band in here. And it looks like this, and then we're gonna press right here, continue on after the face color, like this. And next, two more bands. Now we're gonna make its belt. We take one single black band, twist only one time, and then press right here. And next, two bands of its cross color. And we're gonna do this all the way to the end of the loom. And stop right here. Now we're gonna come back here and work on the one on your right. The same, we're gonna use its face color for three times. And then it's cross color, two bands, two times. The next one, we'll make it belt. Take one black band, twist only one time, you'll see two rings here. And press right here. And then the rest of it, it's his pants, two bands. bands and two bands and now we're gonna do the one on the center for the center we're gonna take his face color two bands and then take one brown band twist three times you will see four rings here 
and take his face color and bring this in here like this and press right here, continue on here, third to fourth on the center and then two more face color and now we're going to do this part we're going to take one single black band twist three times you make four rings here and take two bands of his cross color and bring it in here like this and continue on after the face and we're going to do the same thing one more time black band twist three times you see four rings and then bring it in here like this and then this right here and next this and next we're gonna take one gray band twist only one time you will see two rings here and press right here it's part of his belt and then we're gonna finish up with his pants color two bands and now we're gonna make its eyes for its eyes we're gonna take one black band twist two times you will see three rings here and take another black band twist two times so you will see another three rings here we're going to take one, it's face color and bring these eyes in here and press right here from third on your right to third on your left and after you press in you separate the eyes one eye on each side and after you press right here we're going to bring both ends on the center right here so for this horizontal band, it's going to look like this. Next, we're going to press its arm that we already made before. And then put your hook back to the loose end. Make sure you grab all of them. You should have two rings on each side, so total will be four rings on your hook. And then press right here in between blue and first colors. This will be his shoulder. And right here and now we're going to put another arm on the other side here put your hook in back into the arm and then press right here on the other side like this now we're going to do the horizontal band first we're going to take two it's two of its cross color and press right here from first on your right to first on your left like this next we're going to do his face color press right here let's make a little upside down triangle here and another two bands make another upside down triangle here and next two bands of its cross color like upside down triangle here and two bands for this horizontal band you can use one band if you want to save some band or you don't have enough band you will work two I like to use two because it makes it more steady and stronger so uh, take another two bands right here and you, you can skip these two and two more bands two more and two more and for the last one I'm going to use three black bands work as his shoes like 
this and last one after you press the upside down triangle we're gonna bring this gonna bring this in here and this is what it should look like now we're gonna rotate our loom and start looping we're gonna reach under the horizontal band and go up the bottom two hook it to the next one Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Bottom two, hook it to the next one. And we're going to continue to do this until the end of the room. If I'm going too fast, please pause your videos. Then you can catch up and start again. And when you finish here, come back here and do the one on your right. It's very important that you loop all the bands. If you just miss one or two, then after you pull it off, you're falling apart. back here and do the one in the center Take one single blue band and then put both end here and bring one end through the others and pull it and then take another blue band do the same thing on your right take one end through the others pull it in the middle one, we're going to do the yellow because the color is the yellow, so you want to show. And the same, bring one end through the others and pull it. And now it's time to take it off. And when you first take it out, it looks kind of messy like this. But we can fix it, no problem. So, the way to fix it, these bands are flexible. You can pull them and make it to the way you like it to look. So you can hold on to where you want to bend it and pull it. And that will change it and like this arm you hold on to this side and pull the other side and you will look nice and then on the head here we're gonna make this stay nice and neat we can pull a little bit And since this is gonna be fun, we can pull these bands out a little bit so you will show more like this. 
and pull on the side that way you'll look nicer and then we're gonna hide this part so you won't look messy you just hide it anywhere that you think it's a good hiding place just put your hook through it and then pull it through and hide it underneath of the pants anywhere it's fine and now here is your cup and I have another videos that make rubbers so you can make cup and rubbers thank you for watching see you next time <music>